A lot has changed at St. Michael's Cathedral over the past five years. Exterior work has revitalized the facade and increased the functionality of the building. The basement has been excavated and the construction of a new crypt chapel is well on its way to completion. And in one of the most important parts of the cathedral, the main nave has undergone an impressive transformation. With this metamorphosis, an integral piece of the nave also needs to be replaced. A magnificent new altar, one crafted in keeping with the historic vision of the cathedral, will be constructed within the sanctuary. The old altar stone hasn't shifted by even an inch since its placement almost half a century ago. And the fact that every altar is supposed to contain the relics of two saints makes the removal of this stone even more intriguing. There was only one archived document in the cathedral vault that referenced these sacred relics. So the anticipation of finding them and verifying what saints the relics come from runs high. Father Bush wouldn't miss this moment for the world. Right here, that's what I think it is. It's got writing on it. Relics from main altar, that's them. It's relics, pieces of bone from saints, and this is St. Peter. Disciple of Christ, the first Pope of the Church, and the third Pope, who I think is Clement, but I have to look it up. And we'll put this right back in the new one. There and there. Good, I'll go put this in the vault. With the relics placed in a vault for safekeeping, the rest of the altar is disassembled to make room for the new one. Fast forward 14 months, the altar has been fully constructed within the sanctuary, and the time has arrived to place the cherished relics inside. They've been given a new, more reverential container to keep them safe. It's the relic of St. Peter and St. Clement. They were given to our first bishop, Bishop Power, and the second, Bishop Charbonnel. We're very privileged to have these in our altar. The new marble top is carefully lifted and slides out of the way. the relics are set inside their new resting place. The marble top is replaced with the relics safely tucked away. It's very emotional to actually see it come these priceless relics now have a magnificent new home, blessing the nave of St. Michael's Cathedral Basilica for years to come. <laughs>